Hey there, listeners. Welcome back to another exciting episode of the Die by the Sword podcast. Uh, before we get into the episode, just want to give a quick shout out to the guys over at Midnight Syndicate. You can check out their music at www.midnightsyndicate.com. Also, if you want to add some spooky music to your own games, uh, go ahead and check out the ambient sounds over at Sword Coast Soundscapes. Check them out at youtube.com slash Sword Coast Soundscapes. All right, quick intro for me this week. Let's get into the show. So earlier today, guys, I was talking with a coworker about uh, getting nostalgic about uh, cars, and then we talked about CD changers and uh, or, or CD players, and then it got me nostalgic for the CD changer in the trunk. Shout out Kelsey, by the way. I don't know if you guys have ever, if you guys ever had one, but I was always so jealous for what, in retrospect, seems like the most useless piece of technology ever of putting anything <laughs> you will listen to where you can't even touch it. No, it was uh, fine. I had the six disc CD changer in the the trunk, and you put you pick out your six discs, put them in there, and then you have the remote inside to to switch through them. The remote <laughs> it's not built in. I never had one. This was an aftermarket thing. I had one yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> I did uh, install the remote to where it was right by the the stereo console, so I could actually just reach over and hit the buttons on that as if I was hitting the radio. Oh, yeah, that was cool, too. I think I remember my buddy had the remote and uh, yeah, I think he had a, a, some Velcro on his mm-hmm. dash so he could stick it up there. Yep, that's what I used. <laughs> you did not want to lose that remote. I did. Oh, <laughs> somewhere in the back seat. I don't know. <laughs> it was tiny, too. So like it was just gone, like in the cracks forever. Right. Yeah, it, and it, blend, it blended in with the interior so you can yeah. see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had that and I had the cassette deck in my car. So I had the, you know, Tupperware tub full of cassette tapes. Oh, with the tapes coming out? No, I mean, yeah, if if you had a car, uh, yeah, if you had a car, what, before 19 or 2000 something, you had a cassette deck. Mm -hmm. I had an eight track. Oh, (laughs) did not have an eight track. I had Uh, a CD player pretty early on. Got it installed at Circuit City, RIP. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of technology, we lost. <laughs> all, all of those are now Spirit Halloweens. <laughs> yeah. So, well, I guess, you know, it's kind of poetic justice. It, the company died and so a ghost rose in its place. It's true. <laughs> oh, that is. But actually, the, the first... I used to work at a couple of spirit Halloweens and the first one I worked at was in an old circuit city. (laughs) Yeah. I used to love circuit city too. Not as much as best buy, which still hanging on by a thread by a thread. Yeah. Barely. I I was going to say, I always went to best buy first and if they didn't have it, then I went to circuit city to see if they had it. Yeah. 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 Well, Well, see growing up, I went to radio shack first. (laughs) Oh no. (laughs) How you have a ham radio or what? (laughs) <laughs> no, he lived in a small town. That's all they small could have. we had. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't even know if we had a Circuit City. I'm sure we did. I just it was Radio Shack first, and then we also did like the Montgomery Ward electronic section. Oh, Montgomery well, Ward! Yeah. That that we definitely had. Uh, mm-hmm. I come from a much smaller town, so we didn't have the Circuit Cities, the Best Buys, and things like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you had, you had the Monkey through. Ward. Yeah, you had to drive for an hour to get to one of those. Did you have to put on your Sunday best? Uh, no, but speaking of that, I just broke my streak of uh, going without pants. Oh, 185 <laughs> days. <laughs> See, that's something I don't know if you give congratulations or condolences. <laughs> condolences. <laughs> well, I had a friend of mine say that we can uh, amend it. It's I've gone 185 days or more in Texas. So if I just include Texas, I've, I've gone for a much longer time. <laughs> True. Because there were some so pants you... wearing in Colorado. It was cold. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, do you have like the hash marks like scratched out in your closet for like <laughs> one, two, three, four, and then slash is five for keeping track? No, he should do it the opposite because those are leg prisons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You said 180, what? 
185 days. Already for a streak. You know what? You could you could get half the year in no pants. Easy. Half the year in no pants. Yes. Mm-hmm. Of course, I'm you know back to it now that I'm back in Texas because you know hey it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Although well, they pulled did come through. Starting to cool down <laughs> yeah. a little bit. Standing outside today waiting to get inside to vote and I was freezing outside. Oh yeah, same. How long did it take you to vote? I think from the time I lined up till the time I was done, it was about twenty five minutes. Wow, yeah, about mine, the same. My wife took about an hour. Yeah, my wife took three hours yesterday. Ooh, wow. I mean, I thought it was gonna take a long time because the line was wrapped around the building, but it just it moved really fast. Because people are staying away from each other, right? So it looks a lot longer than it is. Yeah, True. they have like uh, yeah. spots where you can stand and then they're six feet apart, each one. So. Yeah. But what's the old technology you're working on there, John? Oh, um, I've got an old uh, house phone. A, ho- a house phone? Yeah. You have, a, you have yeah. a landline. <laughs> I have a landline and um, I was trying to uh, change the ringer so that it wouldn't ring. And uh, the menu doesn't anywhere say ringer on off. You know, they so got a ringer on those rotary phones like that. <laughs> I know, shocking. Eh? <laughs> Why didn't you just uh, tell Sarah not to bother you? Right. <laughs> now, is with this with MCI or Southwestern Bell? Oh. <laughs> I think it's AT and T Bell. <laughs> ah. <laughs> but no, I'm uh, trying to get rid of get it uh, so that it doesn't ring. Did, were you successful? I pulled the plug. <laughs> <laughs> when all else fails, just pull the plug. <laughs> Grandma! No, just yeah. bad. <laughs> we're going to have to cut that. <laughs> nope. I think we were all tiptoeing around it. You were just yeah. the, brave, the bravest yeah. one. <laughs> well, we were playing uh, What Do You Meme recently, and there's an image of a girl distraught staring at a... Uh, power outlet and somebody played the card about pulling the plug because you needed to charge your phone and the only plug available was the one that was plugged into grandma's life support <laughs> oh no <laughs> it was too perfect not to to play so we have deemed that that is the only card that can win that that round <laughs> but anyway speaking about pulling the plug um Estovian. Estovian. I believe last time we recorded, which feels like ages ago, you had defeated the Vilcasis, started exploring a bit of the rest of the temple, found a map. Quite the shock, I think. Yeah, you uh, set off a trap, and then you went and found Estovian hiding in this hidden room. And as... Renly and Cabal went to go grab him. He snarled at you. Hmm. So I believe that means we are rolling for initiative. Well, all right. <laughs> Welcome back. All right. Yes, think of the same <laughs> thing. Your dice hate you? <laughs> Already. Oh, God, they hate you. <laughs> Sounds like they're hating everybody. If there's a time to bosh, it was now. <laughs> At least I got this one out of the way. I'm just saying. You got it. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> wow. Oh, <shit. laughs> okay. Dwarf, Dwarfy didn't, but Ren, uh, Renly Carey did. Uh, Renly, what did you get? A three. Three. Dwarfy. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. Cabal. A Twenty. Twenty. Yay. Show bear. Uh, eight. 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 And Diego. Three. All right. Who has the higher mod? Well, you both rolled one, so you have the same modifier. So, Renly and Diego, it is a roll off. Okay, here we go. Roll off! <laughs> uh, three? Uh, do we add in our initiative bonus here? And- oh, wait, no. if we're not. No, okay, then one. Another one? <laughs> Another one. I got a three on my roll. <laughs> Please okay. let my dice be nice to me. <laughs> wow. Listeners, tonight could go sideways so quick for us. We so, might see a TPK. Who knows? <laughs> might see some dice get exiled. <laughs> <laughs> 
So you, you, you know how ladybugs are supposed to be good luck? I had one land on my dice tower. She's still there, um, but I think that she's the opposite, so I don't know what to do with her. <laughs> is, she, is, she, is she orange or red? Red. Okay. I'm going to say if she's orange, she might be one of those Japanese imitation beetles. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, she red. She better change her luck real quick. <laughs> I think it's when they fly away it's supposed to be the luck. I don't know. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, we are starting off with Cabal. Get him, Cabal. All right. All right. So, homie's um, snarling at me, so um, I guess I'll try to talk to him. Say, what, what's going on? Why are you here? Are you going to roll anything with that, or are you just going to talk? I just want to talk to him. Oh, I would roll a diplomacy. Yeah, this is me. That would be good. Ooh. <laughs> My diplomacy is a negative one, but I rolled a 20, so I got a 19. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I love your dice. Can I have <laughs> Uh, even with a 19, he basically just snarls oh, at you. He's sad. not in a talking mood. There's no saving him. He's in a snarling mood. Okay. In that case, I will punch him with my silver dagger. Okay. Let's see what we got here. 24 to hit. That's a hit. Okay. For 5 points of damage. Five points of damage. First blood is drawn, and you heard him growl. Yeah, he's <laughs> mad about it. <laughs> he doesn't like that. Evidently not. Uh, okay. So let me look at the map here, what we've got. It is Estovian's turn. And... Okay. Uh, so Estovian is going to take a five foot step back cast a spell and I need Renly and Chaubert to make a reflex save Uh oh better not great so I have my reflex total to my roll right yes so Renly and Chaubert I'm at a 21. Okay. And okay. Renly? Renly got a 4. Nope. Plus 4. That's my reflex bonus. Plus 4. Renly got a 7. That is a fail from Renly. Figured it would be, yeah. Uh, but that is a save from Chaubert. No! I hate that sound. Well, that sounds like a lot. Oh, he's doing it again! Oh no. It's not terrible. Uh, Renly takes 30 points of damage, <gasps> and Chaubert takes 15 points of damage as a lightning bolt comes flying through the room. Kaboom. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. I have resistance. I am an Asimar. Asimars have energy resistance. It's probably you take five less points. Five less points. So 25 instead of 30. And for Chaubert... Ah, so for Chaubert, he has a evasion, so a successful saving throw against an attack that normally deals half damage means no damage. Well, there you go. So, I feel like poor Renly kind of absorbed a lot for him, so he kind of was able to <laughs> avoid it a little better. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> so, zap, zap. Um, all right. So that could have been a lot worse. There was a lot of ones on those. J- just so y'all know, that lightning bolt did 10d6. Oh, how? First off, we're going to have to cut off his fingers. <laughs> Man. <laughs> he, 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 he doesn't have any more spell slots for lightning, does he? Oh, he's got <laughs> several spell slots. Uh, he's a level 10 character. Jeez, oh Pete. <laughs> uh, next up is Dwarfy. Where is Dwarfy? Dwarfy is just outside, so he is going to. 
he could probably do this. So, is he more monster than person, would you say? Or more person than monster? Are you or, trying wait. to do a, a charm spell? <laughs> I'm trying to hold him. Okay. He's, but still, need... he's still a humanoid. Alright, then I will cast... Wait, let me jump over to Dwarfy. Uh, I'm going to... Oh, God, but you said level 10. That's not probably going to do it. I can try it. I'm going to cast Hold Person. Okay. So I need you to roll a will save. 27. That does not work. Hold Person doesn't work. No. <laughs> he got a lot of will. Hey, I tried. So I have a theory. That it's a demon? No. no. Um, that he's a, w- a wizard. No, no, right? Is he a wizard? He's just being a nasty. He is a <laughs> spellcaster. Well, that I gathered. Well, tell him it's not. <laughs> yeah. He likes casting spells. He's warlock and proud, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, so a spell that didn't do anything from Dwarfy, and that brings us to Chaubert. Alright, um, let's see, Chaubert's actually pretty far away from him, so he's going to try to close the gap here. So he's going to move into the room and up next to Estovian with his silver dagger. Unfortunately, he can't charge because Rinley was in his line of, uh, in his his path there. So he's going to attack with his silver dagger. Alright. Uh, 28. 28 to hit. And that's four points of damage. Four points of damage. Is there any bonus for silver? No. Oh, no. Hopefully there's just no negatives. Okay. Next up is Diego. Okay. Um, Diego is going to run into the fray as well, uh, which means he's going to have to take the same path that Jobert did, so he will run in and actually get to the opposite side of Estovian so that he can hammer on him with his silver fists and hopefully do some damage. Yeah, let's flank this chump. Uh, That would be a 19. That is a miss. (gasps) Swing and a miss from Diego. Sorry, guys. It was a long run. It took it out of me. <laughs> You're back up in the mountains. And that uh, run did take a lot out of me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't breathe. All right, that'll bring us to Renly. So, after the shocking turn of events that just happened to Renly, um, <laughs> he is going to. Uh, he is going to draw his shock hammer, uh, and doing that. Seems he appropriate. Is uh, going to um, this his disguise trigger goes off when he drew it, um, making him look a whole lot like his older bro- uh, younger brother, his brother. I forget which which one he is. So let's see. Let's turn Apparently, they weren't on. very close. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> doesn't even know his age. <laughs> He has so many brothers. Ah, uh, I'm gonna change into to third skill, and uh, my dice aren't helping me anyway, so it doesn't matter if I rolled right now anyway. <laughs> oh, you want to play with lightning, do you? All right, so we have third skill back on the board, and that brings us back around to Cabal. Okay, so Cabal, seeing that um, Diego rolled pretty high and still couldn't hit him um cabal's gonna cast a judgment of justice to get extra on attack rolls okay so he will he will shoot Estovian with an arrow got it for 22 that is a miss no oh, oh no I'm no, I quit I'm running away man <laughs> I'm out <laughs> Alright, and it is Estovian's turn, and 
as you're all looking at him, he disappears. <laughs> well, that sucks. <laughs> I'm kind of okay with it, I'll be honest. <laughs> but then reappears in the other room. Oh. And not okay with that part. <laughs> and yep. he is going to cast another spell. Is it more lightning? It is not. With this spell, these black tentacles burrow up from the floor, reaching out to grab each of you, because you are all within range. Yeah. And so... Actually, I think I have resistance to black tentacles. Um, let me look real quick. <laughs> is this like calamari? Can I just slice it up? <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to be making attacks on each of you. I'm going to attack your CMD. So, he gets to cast two spells? That's not fair. One is an at-will supernatural ability. Ah, still not fair. He needs to die. <laughs> Wait, so what's the first What's the first spell, then? The first spell was like a misty step. Oh, oh right, right. Dimensional step. Yeah. So going down the list, we will start at the top with Chaubert. The 27 against your CMD. Uh, yeah. Okay. We sure we don't yeah. use a escape artist or anything for these? Uh, nope. This is just nope, against No your reflex CMD. saves? Nope. Please roll low. Please roll low. Because it's making an attack against Diego. It's a nat 20. I win 25. Well, that, that's a nat 20. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> so it's definitely higher than that. Damn. Uh, Cabal. Well, maybe. 23. You still got me. Dang it. Wow. Oh. And, let's see. Third skill. It's even lower. It's 21. Ooh, you still got me. Okay. And last but not least, Dwarfy. It's another natural 20. So everybody is grappled in these black tentacles. Everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Wrap your body. Yeah. Black tentacles oh. coming for you. Uh, looking at the spell, I was only supposed to roll once for the entire spell effect and apply it to everybody. So what, what was the first roll that I did? 27. That, 27. 27. So did 27 get everybody? <laughs> 27 got me, yes. Totally. Okay. <laughs> so I just want to make sure I'm going by the rules here. Uh, so yes, you are all grappled, and you will all take six points of damage. Ugh. As he chuckles these black tentacles that are grappling all of you. Alright, next up is Dwarfy. Smack it, Dwarfy. Alright, uh, Dwarfy is going to try and break this grapple. Okay. He does not break this grapple. Uh, he rolled a 5. It wasn't me, it was him. He rolled a 5 and got a 13 total. That is not enough to break the grapple. Ugh. Next up in the initiative is Chaubert. Uh He's going to try to break this grapple. Okay. So... It's outside the box. So, 26. 26. You are able to break the grapple. Oh, wait, sorry. 25, 25. 25 is just enough to do it. Oh, whew. all right. And so then after he breaks the grapple, I can't... Can I do anything else? Do these count as, like, a saving throw? No, it's a combat maneuver check. Because I was looking at my judgments to see if I could increase anything like that, but I don't see anything to, like, increase the CMD. Right, he grapples a standard action, so you'd still be able to move. Okay. Uh, if I move over, can I aid Cabal? Aiding another is a standard action. So since you've right. already used your standard action, you wouldn't be able to aid this round. Okay, so not this round, so... Cabal, did you already go this round? Mm, I haven't tried to ungrapple yet, no. Okay. So I'm going to move up by Cabal 
Um, and if he needs help, then I might be able to on the next round lend aid. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, Diego. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Or Diego is going to see if he can uh, escape. Let's hope for a good roll here. Please, dice, be nice. That was not nice. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that, that, that's not going to be enough. No. So Diego is still dealing with tentacles. Um, so is the escape the full action? I can't slug this tentacle? Uh, attempting to escape is a standard action. Okay. But can we hit the tentacle? Um, you could attempt it, but I will tell you that per the words of the spell, the tentacles cannot be damaged. Cool. Oh, that sounds... Wow. Cool. So... I hate this spell. <laughs> the only thing that I can do is break free, but I have to roll a 19 to do it. I know the feeling. Okay. Next up is Thurskel. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I was roll mad 19. and pissed that I had to roll a 19, and I rolled a freaking 19. <laughs> nice. <laughs> there you go. Beats All my right. <laughs> So Thurskel's out. <laughs> All right. Thurskill throws a fit and breaks free. I want to break free. <laughs> um, Dang it, he beat me to, to it. Break free. <laughs> I like that. Um, Gary's trying to get on that into into the the outro track. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, can I move into this? No. Yeah, can I move into this corner right here? See this tiny little corner. It's like a five foot step. It is a five foot step, but it's right. Chow. Yeah, if a square has any of the light gray in it, I consider it. I'd say you can use that whole square. All right. I'm going to do that so Jobert may be able to bull. No. Wait. Okay. Okay. So then he can rush then, right? Because between yeah. here and here is gray. And oh, if he yeah. goes diagonal, boom! Uh, from where he's at, he doesn't have a straight line. No, but look. He goes there. Two. Three. Oh. Oh, no, I'd have four. to already be in that square right here. You, or in it, this one right here. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. Because okay. I have to yep. take out and then over. Gotcha. So he's not, not able to charge from where he's at. Well, I mean, that's all I could do is... No, no, I, I like what you're. I like where you're going. Mm-hmm. But hey, that's two people free. All right, and that brings us to Cabal. <clears throat> okay, so Cabal looks Jobert in the eye, and he says, "I don't think I'm going to be able to escape this. Do you want my judgment, or do you want me to try to escape?" <laughs> we we must get you out here, Suka. <laughs> All right. Well, I will try to escape then. Okay. <laughs> I got an 11. It's not enough to escape. <laughs> and that's with your, your bonus? You better believe it. Oh, man. So if I aid him, what's the what's the bonus on that? Uh, you would roll, uh, try to get above a 10. And if you do, you give him a plus 2. Okay. All right. Uh, next up is Estovian, who kind of giggles again, seeing the people worrying about these tentacles uh, first off the, the tentacles that are still remaining are against Diego Cabal and Dwarfy correct? correct? correct Yes. so they are going to try to maintain their grapple that is a 31 against Diego I thought it was against everybody oh that's right it's the same so it's 31 against everybody oh, thanks Philip. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that works so well against Diego, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, those of you who are still grappled, uh -huh. take another six points of damage. Okay. And then Estovian is going to start casting another spell. Of course. Someone shoved some wolfbane in his mouth. <laughs> who has it? I think it's you, isn't it? Is it me? Oh yeah, because I got pin cushion. Character sheet. It's electronic, and I don't. I can't write on it. 
All right, that'll bring us to Dwarfy. Dwarfy is going to try and break the grapple. All right. Dwarfy got a 18. That is a fail. That is a fail. Oh, and he got six points of damage, right? Yes. That moves us on to Showbear. All right, Showbear is going to try to help Cabal out, and he's going to try to frantically pry at these tentacles, trying to get them off him. So he's going to try to aid. Okay. So let's roll your d20 and hope you get above 10. Come on, Showbear, you can do it. Any bonuses or anything here? Uh, I think it's technically it's a CMB. Oh, okay, cool. Then I am above 10. So it's like, it's a nine, but I have a CMB of six, so oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> so you do aid, so Cabal will get a plus two when he tries to escape. Sweet. All right. Diego. Okay, uh, Diego will try to escape again. Okay. Let's roll high. Come on, guys. That is a 18. As a fail. Shobear knows where he's going next. <laughs> All right, Thurskill. Thurskill is um, is going to do what he does best and uh, attack. So he is going to take his hammer, walk up to this mofo, and going to strike him with his shock war hammer. Okay. Ooh. Um, 25. That's a hit. 25. So that's one, eight, three, seven points of damage plus one point of electricity. So, I mean, he hasn't really brought the lightning anytime soon, so he's kind of rusty, so. (laughs) It kind of crackles a little. Yes. He, you know, he rubbed his feet on the carpet and shocked him. Yeah. It's It's a static shock. Yes. Okay, and since you did do damage to him and he was in the middle of casting a spell, I have to roll to see if he maintains the spell. <laughs> Just a patient. Remember when I was sneaking around his office and I was like, oh, I don't want to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Next time. All right. <laughs> We're going to have to murder Hobo everybody now. <laughs> Just to be careful. Leave no stone unturned. Leave n- no innkeep run murdered. <laughs> okay. And you did eight points of damage. He is able to maintain the spell. Boo! Bummer. Barely. But he was able to do it. Okay. And that brings us to Cabal. All right, so I've got Jobert helping me out here. So let's see if we can get freed from this tentacle. Let's do it, bro. That's a 26. <gasps> yeah! That is, a, that is enough to break free. Thank the Lord. Oh, and it's that I need. I needed your two. <laughs> yeah. I needed your two. All right, so I shrug off this tentacle. You shrug off the tentacles. <laughs> Tentacles. Tentacles, tentacles. All right, that will bring us back around to Estovian. So the two tentacles that are holding on to Diego and Dwarfy. Apparently it's the D names. I have a question, though. <laughs> uh huh. I thought. Oh, wait, no. Question gonna mind. get us killed? No, no, no. It's not. It's, it's withdrawn. It's a 25 to maintain the grapple. On Dwarfy? And Diego. And Diego. Remember, Philip? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Philip. <laughs> I do remember. Uh, Diego's CMD is 25. So that, that means oh, it. Shit. So it, it is just enough to maintain. Damn. Oh. <laughs> All right, so those of you who are still maintained in the grapple take nine points of damage. Nine, it's getting bigger. I rolled higher on the d6. He's holding less people. Yeah, right? (laughs) And that brings us to Estovian's actual turn. And the effects of his spell show up. What's he casting? I'm so 
so curious. As he summons a dire wolf. We killed lots of them, we ain't scared. For some reason, I type in wolf and it pulls up wolf spider. A dire wolf spider? I don't want to fight that. That sounds horrible. (laughs) What is that? (laughs) It's supposed to be a wolf, but it's all weird. Oh, oh! It's howling. It was. It was think... howling. That was its oh. mouth. It's <laughs> sitting like a good boy. I thought that its face shrunk. Wait, now it's a stick. Now it's a stick. <laughs> no, what okay. is happening? Okay, <laughs> let me let me find an actual wolf picture and then I'll import it real quick. I was gonna say I like that first one better. That was fantastic. <laughs> it's also what? huge. It, it looked more like a pit wolf. Not, not a wolf. Uh, I would say a pug wolf is what it looked like <laughs> with that face. <laughs> but could you imagine wolf pugs the size of wolves? Oh my god! Can you imagine? Dire. Dire I was gonna say <laughs> dire pug. Just, just. <laughs> just imagine how bad the asthma would be. And those eyes would stare directly into your soul and possibly through it. <laughs> Size of bowling balls. That's yeah, the greatest weapon. The eyes. Oh no! Mesmerized by the dire pug. Yeah. <laughs> the dire pug stare. And you know that he can do a full chameleon with those eyes. He's <laughs> looking in every direction. <laughs> there you go. Just a picture of a wolf. Big bad wolf. I think so big it's not going to fit through the door. <laughs> Is that from a blue buffalo ad? <laughs> <laughs> it might be. I don't know. I just googled wolf real quick and downloaded it. Okay. So he shows up. And a wolf will try to bite. Uh, let's see, the Shobera right in front of him. Let's try to bite Shobera. A 17. Oh, shoot. All right. Barely misses me. A bite and a miss. All right. Next up is Dwarfy. Well, all he can do is try and break the grapple. Or, wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, he's going to cast Forbid Action, but he's going to cast it on the wolf. Okay. He's going to forbid the wolf to attack. Bad boy. Bad boy. He's going to... He conjures up a giant newspaper. Ghost news- Yeah. <laughs> smacks him on the nose, and you must roll a will save. That's will, the newspaper. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the Will Street Journal. <laughs> Let's say. Uh, that is a nine. That is a fail. So he will not get an action next turn. Assuming that's how that spell works. Uh, you forbid the target from a single course of action. Just one. Which it avoids uh, at, at its best ability and you failed. Yeah. You can't tell. I mean, you can't attack for one round. Okay. Next up is Chaubert. All right, Shobear is going to... He's kind of tired of this Estovian guy. And uh, he is not that close to him. I think he's about 25 feet away. So he's going to move into the room, the 25 feet, and try to flank him with Thurskill here and make an attack with his uh, Silver Dagger. Okay, uh... Because you are going through close quarters, uh, that would provoke to get around to there. There's not a okay easy way to get around. No acrobat. Right. Yeah, so do I do an acrobatic. Uh... Uh, you'd have to make two acrobatics checks because there's two squares you would leave that are threatened. Ooh. Ooh. I still like your odds, though. I do too. All right. All right. Let's see. First one is 17. Fail. Oh. It's a 22 to hit. Ah, dang. Yep. Uh, That's a critical threat. He he has a weapon out? He has a longsword. 
but I'm assuming an 11 does not confirm. No. So, just a hit, not a critical. He's not very strong. So he only does five points of damage, which is the maximum. <laughs> All right. His strength is a minus three. <laughs> Little beach. <laughs> okay. So uh, you move the second. Do I do your second acrobatics check? Uh, no, you're able to get to that point. You can only take one. Oh, okay, cool. All right. This round. So then I'm going to try to get him with my silver dagger there. Okay. Stabby, stabby. Stabby, stabby. And that is a... 20. Just misses. Oh! That's rough. Damn. Okay. Uh, next up in the initiative is Diego. You are... Still grappled. Still grappled. Okay. Trying one more time to get away. Please roll high. Ha! Ah, and that 20. So that makes it a 26. Yes. Just Probably enough. <laughs> Diego breaks free. Uh, yay, of his own accord. Yay. <laughs> um, so Diego is going to move over here besides Cabal to assist him. Uh, okay. In case he gets attacked. Dorothy is just gonna stay hanging up right now. Moving to the wall. And it's a new life now. Uh huh. <laughs> and you are able to move Diego without provoking an attack of opportunity because the wolf has been commanded to sit and stay. <laughs> All right. Thurskill. You told us that he was turning into a wolf. He's not. Uh, I'm uh, not you, the DM uh, or GM. Um, Jobert, right? He relayed the information, or do we just all know? Um, I mean, you've seen the bite, so it would, you might be able to deduce that on your own. Yeah, so it's kind of like general party knowledge. Yeah. Okay, so what uh, Thurskill is going to do is going to reach into Renly's bag and pull out some uh, Wolfsbane that uh, he totally forgot he had. Uh, and he is going to... Okay, so when I was little, I hated taking medicine, so my mom had to pin me to the ground, uh, arms and legs, and shove it in my mouth, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pin him to the ground and shove it in his mouth. So that will be a grapple attack. So it's a CMB. No, it's a mom attack. <laughs> CMB against his CMD, D. right? Mm-hmm. woo hoo 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 That is... Um, I'm bad at math. Uh, 23. That is enough to grapple him. So that's what your... This round will be is grappling him. The next round you will be able to try to force feed him. The wolf spam. Okay, makes sense. It's like administering a potion. Yes. Right? Yes. Oh, oh shit. Should I have done that? Because now... Oh, I think it's great because that gives uh, Jobert a chance. Cool. Yeah. No, because I did. I said it pulled it out. So he wants to grab it from my hand and put it in his mouth. Do you want me to try to help with that? I mean, me to try to absolutely, absolutely. Well, you he's with with if Jobert attacked their skill. I mean, not their skill. Uh, this dude. Um, so would it? Would he take a penalty? And would it still count as sneak attack? I'm not sure how sneak attack it works would, on a grappled creature. I know his AC right, is lowered that, by two because he's grappled. Uh-huh. But so is yours. Yeah. Being grappled does not provide a character with sneak attack opportunities. Cool. Yeah. Oh, uh, right, because you're already denying his dex bonus, so that counts as a sneak attack. Um, what I just read said being grappled does not provide the opportunity for sneak attack. And I, he doesn't still count as, as um, what you call, uh, flanked. Right. But he is being denied a dex bonus. He has a minus two to his AC. It's not as, his dex is being denied. He's okay. just got a minus two to his AC. Because he can't defend himself, basically. So I, but I can't sneak attack at all, right? According to what I just read, being grappled does not allow sneak attack. Okay. If he is pinned, then he would. But you would have to, 
Right now he's just grappled. So then I didn't pin him. Make, you didn't pin him because you'd have to tackle him to the ground and then pin him. Because that's what I it was thinking in my mind. But the hands off the chest piece. What's it, what, what is the difference between that and the, and the uh, just saying it, or does it constitute more bonuses? More actions, stuff? I think. And they, is it two separate? That'd be two separate turns, right? Uh, okay, so first round you have to grapple. Uh, second round you have to maintain the grapple. Uh, and then if you maintain the grapple, you can pin. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Perfect. It was it, not perfect because that's not what I wanted, but understanding. But it's basically kind of like what I said. If you got him grappled, you can try to administer the stuff next round by pinning him down. Or Jobert can take it from my hand and do it. Yeah. But right now he's not pinned. He's just, you've got your arms holding him. Yeah. Okay. So. By the way, do we know how fast Wolf's Bane works? I don't know if it's going to be instantaneous. Have they grapple him for like two days? Uh, it would be a knowledge nature check if y'all want to find out. Okay. But it is, now that he is grappled, that brings us to Cabal's turn. Okay. So since Cabal's now free, he will um, shoot the dire wolf that's in front of him and Diego. Okay. With the burrow. 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 For 23. That's a hit. Okay. For six points of damage. Alrighty. Anything else on that one? Nope. We're good. Okay. That brings us to Estovian. He is going to try to break the grapple. That is a 16 against the grapple to break free. Nine, Fraulein. You're still grappled. Still grappled. Okay. That's all he can really do. Okay. I was saying if he could use his uh, dimensional step while grappled, but he can. Would I go with him? Uh, no. It's the dimensional step. He opens, basically opens a door and then dimensional space and then has to step through it. And while he's grappled, ah. he cannot take a step. So, he's not able to do so. So, he fails at trying to break the grapple. Alright. And uh, now, has it been a full round for the wolf? Is he able to move now? If it's his turn again, yes it is. Yes, yes he can. Okay. And he is going to bite Chabert again. Because why not? Chabert's uh, in, not in the room. Uh, no. You mean Diego, maybe? <laughs> or Cabal? Uh, it was Cabal. That was right in front of him. Um, I'm going to aid Cabal. Mm -hmm. Diego's holding my hand. Well, that's a 12. <laughs> no, ma'am. You get a plus four, so. <laughs> I think we're good. We're good. <laughs> Are you sure? That, that, yeah. That, that 12 is hard to beat. I know. But... Uh, it's, it's tough, yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Next up is Dwarfy. Dwarfy. Okay, so I love this image of Dwarfy just struggling, the last person to get out while all of this action is happening. They're, <laughs> we're fighting the Stovey and they're fighting a the wolf, and Dwarfy's just, just back and forth. With a tentacle. With a tentacle. <laughs> Uh, and he got a... I don't think this is going to do it. That doesn't... But I'll check anyway. Yeah, that's not going to do it. That's 20. Even 20. Well, I will say that he is able to get out because I forgot on Estovian's turn to roll to maintain the grapple. So okay. I, ju I just rolled and rolled a natural one. Dwarfy's free! So he's free. Uh, so yeah, I, I, he's struggling. Struggling to get out. The tentacles pop out of existence and he like falls on his butt. <laughs> but wait, doesn't he get to do something? Because the tentacles didn't maintain their grapple, so Dorfy still gets yeah, a turn, right? Yeah, so Dorfy no? still gets his turn. Oh, so now before it, it, <laughs> before he even started, he didn't have uh, the tentacles. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Cool. All it right. more impressive. Yeah, so that never happened. He None assumed, of it. He assumes that Thank he's you. the one that did it. Okay. <laughs> oh, did it, boy. Um, and he is going to... He's going to go help his buddy. He's going to say, Oh, the scale, I'm coming. Did I... Uh, move. Move. 
Uh, and he has his silver warhammer because he has that drawn all the time. We will roll a 22. Because he is grappled, that hits. Sweet. So he gets bonked right in the face for minimum damage. Um, and that is six. Six points of damage. Alrighty. Still being still trucking. Next up is Chaubert. Alright. Um, Chaubert doesn't really get a sneak attack. Uh, but he wants to try to help whatever is going on with uh, the grapple situation. Um, can I aid, I guess? Is that one thing I can do? Um, you could potentially try to pen him since he's already grappled. So you, you'd make... Okay. Trip saver. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'll try to trip him then. We'll see if that okay. happens. There you go. Uh, eighteen. That's enough. So he is taken down. Down I go. So I would say he is effectively pinned. Sweet. You have some moment where we say and stay down. <laughs> well, I'm with. I'm holding him too. So we both fall down. Can I fall on top of him and he takes damage? No. <laughs> All right. But that will bring us to Diego. Uh, Diego has this dire wolf here. Mm-hmm. So we are going to attempt a uh, stunning fist on it. Okay. Uh, that is a 17. That is a hit. Yay! And I rolled a 24 on the fortitude save. Uh, darn! <laughs> so, uh, I don't think he's stunned. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but he, he will take stunned. damage. He will take he's damage. not stunned, but he's fisted. All right. I, he's been fisted. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> Hold on for the damage. Ha! Uh, that is nine points of damage for the fisting. Nine points of... <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Can't believe I said that with a straight face. You know straight about your face. This is true. He's head is still attached to his body. <laughs> he is, uh, he's very unhappy. You just took his temperature. <laughs> he lets out a yelp. Oops, sorry. This <laughs> <laughs> with that. Did you step on your dog just to make that noise? No, that was me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> didn't make that noise. The dog was... My dogs have responded, though. They're over here liking me because I think I'm wounded. <laughs> <laughs> well, you keep fisting things. So. <laughs> I'm gonna go into my you want to get in on this? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Thurskill. Uh, Thurskill is going to say, take your medicine and try and put the wolfsbane into his mouth. So what do I have to roll to do that? Uh, that is basically a touch attack. So it's just a melee touch attack. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What do I add to it? Uh, since it's I don't know how to do melee touch attacks. Your base attack bonus plus your strength. 20 even. That is enough. Uh, now he is ingesting the wolfsbane. And Here oh. comes the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> if they had been invented yet. Okay. Do you have knowledge nature, by the way, to do a knowledge nature check and see if this even work? I mean, I could. Well, I'll, I'll go ahead since it's free. Why not, right? Yeah. Thirteen. It's not enough to know. All right, but he has taken the wolfsbane. Yeah. No. Thurskill's a man of action. He doesn't. He doesn't care about if it works or not. <laughs> he just followed through the plan. Yes. Uh, all right. Uh, Cabal. Okay, so Cabal is going to summon a spiritual weapon. Okay. It's going to be a little, little silver dagger. It's going to look real cute. And then he's going to send it at the dire wolf in front of him. All right, so you've got a spiritual dagger. Yeah. Attack the dire wolf with it. Okay. For five points of damage. What was your attack? Oh, I got to attack with it? Yep. 
I thought it just hits. Nope. It's spiritual. <laughs> Still got a swing. Unacceptable. Okay, well that's a nat twenty. So, oh, that's good. Ooh. Do I get do I get critical hits with a spiritual weapon? It's a critical. Thing. It's a spirit, critical spirit. <laughs> Friends, we are here with the spirit, and it is critical that you all pray. <laughs> that spirit, that spirit was PS. <laughs> it still gets critical for that whatever that weapon is. Really? Yep. So do I roll to confirm? Yes. Fifteen. That is enough to confirm. Oh my goodness! So, so what bonuses do I get? Do I how many? How much damage does it do? What does your normal spiritual weapon thing do? Uh, it's supposed to be one d eight plus one point per three caster, so it'd be plus two. So, so d eight plus two. You would double that. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Spiritual weapon coming in clutch. <laughs> So it's 14 points of damage. 14 points of damage? Yes, yeah. sir. Voice. And the wolf is still standing. All right, next up is Estovian. And the wolf. Um, okay. So he'll go ahead and... No, no, he's not going to with that. But he is going to... He grapple. That is one save against the the uh, Wolfsbane, so that is enough to stop the Wolfsbane. Boo! Alright. I'm out of ideas. I'm going to try to break the grapple. He's not very good at this. He's weak. I'll just kill him. It's like a five. That's not going to do it. Okay. Do I take any penalty? I don't take any penalties to the my CMB, right? No. Yeah, you just oh. take a minus two to your AC for grappling. Cool. Okay. All right, and then the wolf is going to go after. He'll go after Diego this time. Natural twenty. Well, <laughs> of course. Uh, but a natural two to confirm. So just a hit, not a critical. There is a god. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's called Yaren. <laughs> Oop, out of the box. Uh, so Diego takes 10 points of damage from the bite. And then the wolf gets a free attempt to trip. Suddenly and... him do a sweep. A leg sweep. <laughs> his tail. Well, <laughs> his tail got stuck on something. Because that's a natural five. My tail. Ah. <laughs> oh, they got tangled up? Yeah. Y'all are tail fighting. <laughs> All right. Cats and dogs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next up is Dwarfy. Dwarfy is going to hit him in the face again. Bonk this son of a bitch. Knock him out. No, he's probably not. Um. Fourteen. That is a miss. Mm -hmm. Well, so. does he get any bonuses since he's pinned? It's minus two to his AC, but fourteen. I mean, fourteen yeah. is still low. I rolled a three on the die. Oh. Yeah, you deserve that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the dice are not with you. So it comes crashing down right beside his head. Is he intimidated? <laughs> no. He's a little, but it just gets on a uh, Rinley. <laughs> Here's why does everything have to have a somatic component? <laughs> That's what Rinley was just <laughs> talking about. You know, we were all talking about that. And that was That's part of the fun reason. Now, Estovia. <laughs> yeah, tables have turned. They didn't call him Rinley the Tentacle. What's his last name? <laughs> Shadle. <laughs> I'm Rinley the, Rinley the tentacle sheetle in high school for nothing. <laughs> no, they were really making fun of him, though. Because <laughs> it's a weird penis. <laughs> yes, it's got suckers on it. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway. So that was Dwarfy's turn. Next up is Chaubert. Alright, so Chaubert is going to drop his silver knife and <clears throat> go with the short sword. 
and try to stab him. Okay. Is that uh, 19? Just hits. All right. And he he is considered pinned, right? Yes. He is grappled and, and prone. Okay. All right, so it's going to be a sneak attack. And it's going to be 21 points of damage. All right. He is still alive, which will bring us to Diego. Okay, so Diego still has this wolf here with Cabal, so he is going to attempt a stunning fist again. Ha! That is a 25. That's a hit. And I rolled a 23 on the fortitude save. Well, darn, that is still too high. (laughs) Still takes the damage, though. They got great fortitude, I'm just saying. Uh, He takes another nine points of damage. And you kill the wolf. Oh, yeah. He just done it. (laughs) So I have a question about the spiritual weapon. Can he tell it to go someplace else, or does it disappear too? As a move action, he can change targets. Cool. Uh, Just a move action, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. So Diego is going to move... How far can he move since he's taken an action to kill the wolf? Uh, You can move your normal speed, whatever your normal speed is. Um, Okay. But I will say you would have to move at half speed, because most of the center of the room still has those black tentacles, and it counts as difficult terrain. That would put me beside Dwarfy and Renly. It, it's but, a skill. Oh, third skill, excuse me. <laughs> and not able to get close to Estovian. Sorry, guys. It's all right. You can do that next, next turn. And then uh, just jump on top and dog pile or cat right. pile, whatever you want to call it. So everybody just grappled this this poor defenseless man. He totally ain't defenseless. <laughs> he freaking threw tentacles at us. Uh, and he started wolf. out with a lightning bolt that only killed us. <laughs> <laughs> it only did 30 points of damage. Uh, 25. I 25. I know I like lightning. <laughs> Alright, uh, next up is Thurskill. Thurskill is going to maintain this grapple. He is keeping him from doing spells and any more damage and this dude weak. Okay, roll, so. roll to maintain. You do get a uh, plus 5 already to maintain. Plus five plus my CM CMB. B? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So okay, that's cool. I love it. Eleven what's eleven plus eighteen? Oh shit. <laughs> that's 20, Twenty-nine. That's definitely enough. <laughs> so I'ma hold on. Okay. And, and, Don't worry, and, Philip. I uh I correct our bad math, mine and yours, in editing. Whenever I was like, cut all this space between when we roll and when we say what it is. Uh, um. Oh, oh, oh yeah. No, and Thurskill is going to just whisper in his ear, "Stop hitting yourself." <laughs> is he talking to him or Rindley? Who? Rindley? Why would he talk to Rindley? He's talking to the guy. He's well, they're grappling. brothers. I assume they probably fought. They did, but Renly ain't here right now because he's dead. Wait, no, that was Taylor's. Keith, you got a song for that? Mm-mm, not on that one. <laughs> Metal loss on that too. <laughs> well, if you can't make a Taylor Swift joke with a bunch of homosexuals, who can you make it with? <laughs> well, if he breaks free, I'm going to go shake it off. Shake it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So he's not having the best of luck with trying to break out. Alright. Anyway. Alright, uh, so that brings us to the top of the round with Cabal. Okay. Now, were you saying that uh, I must move, I must use my move to move my weapon around? Yes. It, it takes the place of my weapon. Okay. Or my move, I mean. Yes. Okay. Then I will, I will move my spiritual weapon to go stab a stone. An 18 to hit. That hits. Wait. Okay. No, Wait. it doesn't. It's one short. But he's grappled. Oh. <laughs> Dang it! You lied to me. <laughs> okay. Mental math. Sorry. <laughs> I was too busy spinning the uh, the dagger around so it was actually pointing at him. Nice. But uh, now it's it, just hovering above him. Yep. Yeah. 
Well, it's better than blunt force trauma. True. So it's a, a near stab and a miss. Uh, is Cabal doing anything else? No, he's just chilling. Okay. That brings us to Estovian, who is too weak to break out of this, this measly grapple. So he is going to use the sword that is in his hand to uh, try to hit Thurska. But I'm behind him. How is he? I've got his hands. There's no facing him, Pathfinder. Okay. But I still have his hands, so how does he grab it if he can't do somatic? You he don't have his hand. He can, he can still use one, one arm. Per the rules of grapple, he can still use one arm. Okay. Then he already had the sword out? Yeah, because yeah, he hit me with it. Oh, that's true. Never mind. I tried to lawyer my way out of this, and I'm lost. I know, because I was thinking, I was like, how is he doing this? Mm. That is a 16 to hit. Uh, so uh, I do a minus 2 on my AC, right? Mm hmm. And it's my regular AC, no touch, no flat footed. Correct. Then you missed. All right, so he s- tries to stab out and misses. This is not a good day for him. <laughs> well, it looked like it was about to be. It did. Tell I her. thank the Lord for that 19 that I rolled. <laughs> Man. Until I rolled crappy for the grapple stuff. Uh, all right, that'll bring us to Dwarfy. Uh, smashy, smashy. Here we go. Silver Warhammer. Right to the noggin. Seventeen isn't going to do it. Seventeen misses. All right. I can't believe he missed so low to the ground, and he can still. Yeah. <laughs> Cabal just back there shaking his head. <laughs> Fucking dwarfy. Cabal missed too with his spiritual weapon. <laughs> but he's not even in the same room. I'm going to give him a little bit of credit for that. No, yeah, Cabal way back there. Yeah, technically, I didn't miss. You know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? Like, spiritual weapons. <laughs> spirits. Your, <laughs> your spiritual weapons not doing its job. <laughs> uh, all right, Chaubert. All right, Chaubert's going to take another crack at him with the uh, short sword. Okay. Uh, 24. That's a hit. All right. 25 points of damage. And Estovian dies. Sweet! Okay, so I usually don't beg for them, but come on. The grapple deserves a hero card, I think. (laughs) (laughs) Holding the nerd down Especially this. Okay, so that, this is this is double. So he couldn't make any spells. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with you there. I thought that was a terrible idea at first, but then <laughs> when he couldn't use his hands to do anything, I was like, "Holy shit, this is gonna pan out." And then uh, on top of that, um, our poor poor Thurskill was killed by a wizard. Even though you didn't say he was a wizard, he was. He has that book, right? That he always has. He's a conjurer. Ah. Still, spellcaster with a book. Thurskill hates books. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll give it to you. Yay! Oh. Are you gonna use this one? Oh um, yeah. no, I'm not. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right, what did I get? All right, for this hero card, you get oddly fitting the empty throne. Ooh, the empty throne. Is it because both princes of my tribe are in this room right now? Uh, that's one way to connect it. It's also you are at High Throne, and uh-huh. the pack leader is dead, so the, the throne is empty. Well, there you go. <laughs> spooky, spooky. Spooky, so, spooky. So what? what All rises suit? up. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, suit is it? This is a crowns card. Okay. Crowns is a charisma card. The empty throne is the lawful good card of charisma. It represents those who are gone or a ghost of the past that has taught important lessons. Thursko! Thursko. Uh, Except I don't think he, he taught anybody anything. He taught Estovian a lesson. He did. 
<laughs> nerd. nerd. What a eat, big nerd. Eat your wolf's bane. <laughs> Uh, so a crowns card allows you to re-roll one d20 um, that you have just rolled. So it's kind of like a bit of luck. Okay. So do you guys remember when we first found the werewolf human body and it had oh, wolf's bait shoved in its mouth and he was killed? I and do. Like, who, who would do something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who would do something like this? And now we would do something like this. <laughs> but yes, yes, we're going to right now. <laughs> but the fun thing is, you remember now that you have the wolf's bane, but when Cabal was infected with lycanthropy, you went searching for it. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> and listening back to the episode, actually, when um, Duristan is like, I might even kill the wolf or two. <laughs> and then clearly he was the one who killed that guy and shoved Wolf's Bane in his mouth. Mm-hmm. And so it's all coming together, really. <laughs> See, I, I was trying to tell you that he's he'd killed three werewolves, but y'all didn't believe that he'd actually killed anybody. <laughs> well, yeah. the way he talked, I mean... Well, and on. his prowess in battle didn't seem great, so we were, we were kind of... But yeah, Gary's got to think we're damn dummies. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying not to use him too much in combat. So I wasn't rolling very high for him. I would still roll normally, but I just wasn't rolling very often or using the extent of his abilities. So I got my crowns card. Mm-hmm. So that makes one. Uh, that's a dwarfy card. A group card. Uh, the lost is mine, right? Uh, I think yeah, so. Yeah, nobody I... else, I think, but you has earned one in this uh, since we've been on. Well, dwarfy has one, and we got a group card. We got a group shields card. And then, uh, yeah, I've got the, the crowns of wisdom and a stars. Dwarfy uh, has. We all got the the special ones though. Or do we do any? Uh, wait, hold on, I don't remember. No, Grace dreams. had those activate. I think automatically. You know? Well, then they will. You just haven't. Um, Dwarfy's has activated already. I just didn't tell you what it was. I just added on the bonuses for his. Um, okay, what what is it? Uh, Dwarfy's activated against the evil cases. Okay, so Dwarfy, I can get rid of that one? Yeah. Done. Everybody else's has not activated yet. Uh, and then the one the one that I can't use that needs to be activated is the Stars card, right? The Carnival? Uh, yeah, that's the one that will activate on its own. I've got two, and then we have the group a Waxwork card. Yes, y'all do have that one. So, now that we've killed this guy... Mm-hmm. Kill him again. Uh... So Skill is going to stand up. You know how uh, he usually changes back. He actually is not going to do that for another hour. So Stuck with Skill's going to... Yes. Good, good show, everybody. I really, really came in there in a clench. Okie dokie. Well, good buddy. It's, it's good to have you back. Yes, good to be back. It's not for a while, but I'm glad I could stomp some nerds while I was here. You've, you've never been a fan of people with books. No, oh, that's stupid. <laughs> so, so, um, treasure, 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 treasure. Yeah, look around, yes. Sounds good so to me. So we search the room. All right. Do we? Roll what do we roll? Perception. Perceptions. All right. I'm gonna perceive this hole. <laughs> All right, Shabazz at a twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Eighteen for Dwarfy. Diego's at a twenty-six, and since uh, he's third skill, right? It doesn't. I, I'm not. I'm using Renly's stats, um, but still thirteen for for third skill Renly, and twenty-eight for a ball. All right. So, those of you above twenty, so who's searching the body of Estovian? Who's searching the room? Cabal is searching down the pit. Yeah. Uh, Dwarfy's going to search the room. Okay. Diego will search Estovian. Okay. Uh, Shobear will be searching the room as well. And and uh, I, I guess... Uh, can I turn my roll into an aid? Because uh, it was above 10, but just terrible. Sure. Cool. Then I aid uh, whoever's looking in the room as Dwarfy and whoever is looking at the body for... Uh, so Diego, 
So I help Diego. So those of you who are searching Estovian, find on him one, two, uh, you find two potions, you find a scroll, you find a wand, he has a light crossbow, a long... Is it enhanced? Are any of his weapons enhanced? Uh, are, is anybody detecting magic? Oh, uh... Um, that would not be Diego. <laughs> that, 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 I can, I can detect magic. Okay. Uh, so the potions obviously radiate magic, the scroll radiates magic, the <coughs> wand radiates magic, the crossbow radiates magic, uh, the longsword does not, there is an amulet that radiates magic, and a ring that radiates magic. What about his book? Is his book there? He does have a spell book. Cool. I'm a witch, so I can steal some spells if I need to. Very good. I will send you the list of the spells that he has. All right. Uh, and you also find a ring of keys that you would assume would be the master keys for Ascanor Lodge. Uh, we should take the keys at least. Uh, the other stuff, the rings and the wands, we should probably take those as well. We are now the master of the house. <laughs> All right, let's. So, do I roll Arcana or uh, Spellcraft? Spellcraft. Mm, I can't spell. help you on that. Craft seven plus seven. All right, uh, so that's eighteen for uh, Threnly to do anything. Uh, so you have found a potion of Cat's Grace. Well, that seems appropriate. Right. <laughs> a potion of cure moderate wounds. A scroll of dimension door. Ooh. On top of that, you also find a wand of acid arrow. And it has 38 charges left. Ooh, that's nice, but I can't use that. That, sound, that sounds cool. Uh, acid arrow is a blood rager, magus, sorcerer, wizard spell. So, no, then only I can use it. Yeah. Right, yeah. That puts me out. Uh, the light crossbow is a plus one light crossbow. And it does have ten bolts. The long sword is a masterwork long sword. The amulet is a amulet of natural armor plus one. Ooh, I would love that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the ring is a ring of protection plus one. Good stuff to have. And then the spell book. Spell book. But you're going to send me that. Separately. I'll send you, yeah, I'll send you those. So that's all that is on Estovian. Uh, looking at the room, you find a whole bunch of surgical tools that are made of solid silver. Uh, silver. The entire collection is worth about 3,000 gold pieces. Uh, you also find a locked iron strong box. <laughs> Not for long. And that's all you find on that so far. Uh, so I'll come back to that. And Cabal, you are looking down in the pit. Uh -huh. You find dust-covered skeletal remains and a stone that is radiating magic. Nice. So Dwarfy wants to get down there to look at that rock. Okay. Because it's a stone and he's a dwarf. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what Shabers are going to do. He, he wants to take a look at this uh, box. The locked box? Yeah. Okay. So, Dwarfy, roll a spellcraft for me, and Shobear, roll a disable device. All right. Uh, should I check for traps first? If you oh, would I like. Would. All right. I will do a trap check on it. 22. Okay. Uh, 21 on the trap check. All right. Uh, Shobera does not see any traps. Uh, Dwarfy, the stone that you find is a canopic stone, which you and ref read about which in I the previous room with the Vilcases. Yes, and it what we read was... Uh, this is what keeps the Vilcases uh, tethered to this location. Yoink. Well, yoink. <laughs> He's going to put it in Cabal's pants. So, <laughs> essentially, destroying the stone would put would finally put the Vilcases to rest. Because otherwise, it's just going to keep spawning in that same room 
and in a couple of days it'll respawn. Ah, yoink smash. Or I could like just throw it in, in Kabal's pants. Yeah, throw it in Kabal's pants. <laughs> okay. Now um, you decide what to do with that. I'll uh. Oh. Yeah, and you can go ahead and try to disable the device. All right. Uh, twenty. Not enough. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's not trapped though, so it's not gonna spring anything on you. Okay. You said it's iron, so. Twenty-three on my next roll. Still not enough. Oh no! Dang. Okay, hold on. Twenty-four. <laughs> Jesus, that's only one better. <laughs> Still not enough. <laughs> All right, hold on. Anybody have guidance or something? <laughs> I have... Oh, this will do it, right? Okay, hold on. 29. There you go. <laughs> Although some magical traps, it still wouldn't wouldn't be enough. But this one, it's a, that's enough to open this. Inside this locked iron strong box, you find a wand and three wooden scroll cases. Scroll cases near the volcases. Mm-hmm. So do we need to make a separate checks for those? Yes. Alright. Anybody have any idea what these are? <laughs> no clue. Uh, I got a 10 on both of their dies, but let's see what that makes. Um, four, 17 for Renly Shield. Uh, the 17 would be enough to, rec- to identify the wand, which is a wand of spider climb. Ooh, I love those things. And it has 34 charges left. Ooh. Anybody else want to try to identify the uh, scroll scrolls and scroll cases? Well, um, with the spellcraft, that was definitely worse for Dwarfy, so 14, so that's not going to do it. Anybody else have spellcraft? <laughs> Diego does not. How many charges did you say it had? 38? 34. Got an 18 on spellcraft. That's one better. We'll say that... You rolled an 18, and Dwarfy aided you, so that's a 20. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and it's still not enough. <laughs> it's barely enough. I'm, I'm going to give it to you. Uh, so you find uh, these three wooden scroll cases. Each of these cases is decorated with this fragile, colorful moth wings that are preserved with an unguent of timelessness so they won't fade away. The first scroll case contains pages of faded notes uh, taken from a Desnan priest uh, and his, his ancient journals, and it provides the account of the priest's attempts to cure his son of lycanthropy. Any of them successful, does it say? No, none of them successful. Okay. Okay. The second case holds an ancient scroll containing a communion ritual that can be performed atop High Throne to activate the Dusk Moth. Is it transubstantiation or consubstantiation? Some no, no Catholic jokes? No. All right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and the third and final scroll case holds a scroll of removed disease. Uh-oh. Wait, I think we need to use that on Cabal. Yes, the disease needs to go first. If the disease is gone, he won't be cursed. Correct. All right. Oh, okay. So I'd we say hand it to him. Question is, is, who can use it? He can use it, right? Cabal, you can use remove curse. Yes, yeah, it's Inquisitor. Disease. It's remove disease. So Inquisitor, heal thyself. Do it. Okay. Here goes nothing. All right. So if you're using the scroll on yourself, you'll make a caster level check, which is uh, a d20 plus your caster level, so which is seven, Mm -hmm. uh, against the DC Mm -hmm. of the disease. Okay, 18 on the dice, so that's a 25. Which I believe beats the DC. Please. I don't want to die. (laughs) <laughs> we wouldn't die. You'd just be a wolf. <laughs> True. And we would die. <laughs> uh, so yes, that is enough to cure the disease coursing through your body. Yay! Does it hurt when it's when it stops? 
Oh, I'm sure it or does. Or does it just go away? I'm sure it hurts. You get, like, black veins going through your body. Phyllis, like, put a put a stop on all those Be Like Like t-shirts we sent to the printing press. <laughs> I just start punching Dwarfy because it hurts so bad. <laughs> Hold my hand and you just squeeze the frick out of it. <laughs> Darn, we lost our were demon. <laughs> the were demon is gone. There's still a chance. We'll see. Um, all right, so that is all that you find in here. Sweet. Cool. I vote that we sleep here. First we smash that rock, then we sleep here. Uh, I vote that we don't because we're, we had already determined that this was like a place where they're coming in and out of regularly. We can't lock them out? Then we just kill the leader? No, that's not the leader. Ooh, no. <laughs> nope. All right, we won't sleep in the dangerous room, but we're still smashing that rock. Yes, I agree with the rock smashing. Okay, so we moving forward. We're moving forward. All right. I would like to cast cure moderate wounds on myself, though. Oh yeah, no, we should heal. That's also a good idea. Yeah, heal up. <laughs> uh, so after you guys heal up, you. You take the canopic stone and smash it. Uh, you do notice that the skeleton that is covered in dust that is within the pit, after you crush the stone, just fades away. Oh, poor guy. Mm-hmm. He's been released. It's best. He's been yeah. released. You make your way back out of these rooms, and you find the stairs that lead up to the top of the stairs of the moon. You make your way up to what looks like the roof of this main, like, trapezoidal shape of the building. Here you find broken columns that line the perimeter of a flat roof on the low trapezoidal building adjoining the observatory tower. It's exposed to the elements, and the floor has suffered from years of weathering, and there are wide cracks that run across the surface but you can make out a faded mosaic of a giant butterfly in the shadow of the observatory tower. You also notice as you make your way up here, four werewolves with swords. And we'll roll for initiative next week. Oh, oh boy. God. <laughs> I told you we should have rested. Yeah, Do we have any of that wolf spade left? <laughs> Wrap your body. Yeah. <laughs>